hello golden good morning once again to my channel if you are new thanks for joining and to my old subscribers i love you so so much in today's recipe we are making chips the regular chips that's Ghanaian regular chips with onion and garlic so this is the process i hope you stay tuned and enjoy don't forget to like and share to friends and family so to begin i'm doing it with my sister here to begin we have onions it's just some simple chips we are not doing it fancy like we are going to sell this is for us to consume so we have our onions and we have our garlic we are using one one set of garlic it has about five cloves we have three onions she's already working with this one and she's now on this so we have three onions and one garlic I hope the concentration of these ingredients will be enough comparing to the flour we are going to use for this recipe. So she's working on the onion, then we proceed to the next step. Unfortunately for us, we bought our onions four days or three days before today and it's going bad. So most of the onions will be wasted, but we'll still use it anyways. We are going to manage with what we have. And guys, I heard something. I don't know whether it is true. I heard when you are working with garlic, you are not supposed to use knife on the garlic because immediately you cut the garlic with knife, the concentration of the garlic becomes low. It, I don't know whether it becomes less potent in whatever you are doing. I don't know the truth in that, but comment down below. Is it true when you use knife on garlic, does it reduce the potency of the garlic or nothing really affects it? Comment down below. And even on YouTube, we have so many ways in dealing with garlic. We have the one we can crush with our palm. The palm one, I learned it in a hotel when I was doing my internship. I learned that you can turn the garlic upside down and then hit it with your palm. Then everything comes off. And that's what I mostly do. And even with that one, I still use knife to take the bottom of the garlic. This side of the garlic. Guys, this side of the garlic. With that one, I still use knife to take it off like she's doing. We are done with the onions and we are trying to throw the things away. With this type of chips, if the garlic and the onion is more, it makes it very flavorful. And the scent that comes when you're eating the chips is, guys, it's top notch. So we need more garlic, more onion. And the flour we are going to use will make this garlic and onion very sufficient for what we are coming to do. Even at this moment, once we are working on the garlic, it smells so good. we are using the white onions not necessarily the white onions but we have one that is more is it violet or pink that is more reddish than this we are using the white ones 
this particular type of onions it isn't very strong in flavor but it is equally good for you to use if you want the strong flavor you go for the one that looks reddish a little bit that one is more preferable than this And guys, this is Asanka and this is Tapoli. It is locally made in Ghana and it's very effective when using for stews like contumery. And guys, contumery is um, cocoa yam leaves. We use this to grind contumery. We use this to grind garden eggs. We use this to grind literally everything. It is very effective even before the innovation of blender. This is what we're using. But before this, we were using this. Let me show you. We were using the stone. Before the invention of earthenware, we were using the stone. This is how it is. We don't use it again, so don't mind how crusty it looks. And then we upgraded to the earthenware, and then finally to the blender. That is how fun things just get upgraded. But guys, to compare what is made in this type of earthenware to blender, this is 100% and the blender is 80%. The blender changes the taste of food. I just don't know why. It gives it some sharpness because of the blaze of the knife. But this one, it has some local taste. Guys, when you swallow, oh my goodness, you remember when you were born. It is very nice. Especially when you make soup and stew directly in the earthenware without putting it on a saucepan and putting it on fire. It will take it to another level. And for that type of recipe, I will soon be showing you on my channel how to make stews and soup in an earthenware without even using gas or charcoal. And it has to be very smooth so that when you are chewing the chips, you wouldn't be removing the skin of onions and garlic. If you have a blender, you can use a blender. It equally does the work perfectly. If we were doing it in large quantities, we would definitely use blender. Trust me, guys. We are not too hard workers. And we feel like we want to use our energy to do this. No. It's because this is in a small quantity. That is why we are using this. And even if you don't have a blender, some people take it to the grinding mill. You just remove the skin and everything and take it to the grinding mill and then just go and crush it there before they come to prepare it in the house. And that one is when they are doing it on commercial purposes. If it's not commercial purpose, you can either use it in this one or do it in the blender. Anyway it goes. And I know most of you on my channel knows this recipe and knows this type of chip. We have another one which is made out of sugar. But this is made out of salt it's raining all of a sudden it started to rain out of nowhere it started to drizzle so the sun may go down we are trying to pack everything before we continue we are using margarine and cake flour and she's all done with the onions she's trying to scoop it aside so we are going to mix the margarine with the cake flour the cake flour is small so we'll use half I'm going to mix it with a the flour, then we'll now add this one to it, then we'll mold it, cut and fry. Guys, are you wondering why I'm wet? Once we were about to start frying the chips, the weather just changed. And then it started to drizzle. And then it ended up in a heavy rain. And the reason why I'm wet, oh, compare, guys, my hair is wet. 
from head to toe is because this house is a rented apartment. And as I've come to rent, I rented a kitchen. And this is the porch. And this is the compound. And anytime it rains, the rain water just slows down to this corner. And then it becomes full because it can't go. And then it comes here, then it enters the kitchen. And so to prevent, I decided to fetch the water and pour so that I wouldn't allow it to the side ending up entering my kitchen. So this is what we've been doing. We've not been able to find the chips, so after the rain, we'll continue. I'm literally shivering, guys. I had to stand here and scoop the water out for hours. The more we scoop the water, the more it rains heavily. But right now, it's gradually coming to an This is how we do it. Then we walk, we're gonna pour it away into the bathroom. And the gutter is very narrow. The draining system is very narrow. Guys, my phone is getting wet. The draining system is very narrow. And this is what we've been dealing with. For the past six months, we came here. I see. Hmm. Almost everything is full. We have to fetch the water into this. So that at least we will reduce. <laughs> so guys, this one is getting wet. I'm not using an iPhone. Guys, <laughs> my phone is getting wet, so I'll get back to you when we are about making the chips. Hello, guys. At this point, we are all done. The rain has stopped, and then we've cleaned every. The water has managed to drain, and then we've swept. So we are coming to continue with the chips. We are using this quantity of flour, salt, baking powder, and margarine. If you have butter, you can use butter, but we don't have butter, so we are using margarine. So to begin with, we'll use the baking flour. We'll mix the baking flour and the salt before we add the margarine. So we are adding the baking powder to the flour. And then we'll use one tablespoon of salt but this tablespoon is very huge so we use half so we are done mixing the dried ingredients we are coming to add the wet ingredient You are adding everything because the flour is more. But most of the times when you are doing something that requires frying, you don't add a lot of margarine because it can melt in the fire. So we've added our margarine. We are coming to mix it together to get a breadcrumb consistency. Then we proceed in adding the onion and the garlic. Done. We are coming to add the onion and the garlic. And guys, it's still drizzling. It's still drizzling. Wow, the sun is about to come out. It's still drizzling. They are trying to work in it. We are adding the rest of the onion. We want a strong flavor whilst eating the chips. We don't want a mild flavor. That's what makes it nice. But some people do not want it that way, so they add less onion and less garlic. And flour has less nutrients. 
flour is being processed so the nutrients that comes along with flour is less so when you're adding other things that gives nutrients you should add more so that it can fortify whatever you are doing so right now our flour is being fortified with onions and garlic nutrients and this takes it to another level it's okay so now water add some Let me add it for you. We added a little bit of salt, so we are mixing it up. Then we'll now bring it together and bind it with water. Oh, I can smell it, guys. It smells so good. It smells so good. So we're coming to add water. I'm going to use the onion bowl to fresh so that we can rinse the bowl in it. So guys, at this point, we are adding water to bind it. We add it gradually. We don't add a lot. We are binding it with water. And we add it gradually because we don't want it to be watery. Guys, we brought it together, we binded it beautifully, we are about to roll and start cutting. Guys, at this point we are all done. This is what we are going to use to fry the chips and this is the rolling pin. This is the flour we we'll use to grease the table. We'll be doing it directly on this table. And this is the dough. We are coming to sprinkle some of the flour on the table so that we can proceed. Coming to fry this one. We are heating up the oil so that we can fry. We didn't actually cut it well because we are eating it, so we don't have time. And guys, besides, it's raining. We are struggling to survive within this corner. So bear with us. Our oil is hot. I'm coming to put it inside. So 
guys let me put it inside and come back to you i don't have a tripod my tripod is spot so i have to use one hand And guys, I'm trying to teach Tilly. So if you see her struggling, pardon her. She's learning even down well because she's a beginner. But see how she has been able to cut it well. She's a beginner, but she's doing well. I want her to do most of the work because I want her to have the experience. experience. If I do it for her, she'll see it, but she wouldn't really know how to do it when I'm alone. Yes. And because she's the type of learner who doesn't want to try. She doesn't like that. Uh huh. So <laughs> experience is the best teacher. At this moment, she's trying to smear the dough powder. <laughs> Before the dough has finished bathing, and she's trying to smear the dough powder like a baby. So that's what she's doing, you see. Mm -hmm. I've taught her this several times, so I'm not going to teach her again. I'm expecting her to get it right. Anyway, it's just when you know move every. Guys, the aroma. Oh my goodness. It's it's so good. And we still have a lot of dough here. She has done well by using the zakata. And this chips, and what's a brown and you? What's a what dear? Obi chow, what's a watching for color near say a say a ha and no swabbing. I just say, uh huh. Guys, the rain is trying to disturb us. It hasn't stopped. Oh my goodness. This division of labor. We contributed to do this. Just because sometimes we want to have some snack. I know the type of girls who likes to buy food. So we like to make something there so that when we don't feel like cooking, we just throw it in our mouth. And it's almost done. Guys, let me put you aside and then fresh it from the fire. I don't want it to burn. I'm done taking it from the fire. If I hadn't put you guys down, I would have burned my I would have burned my chips. And this is how it looks like so crispy. Sorry. And you would hey. <laughs> hey guys, you're coming to finish the rest and come back to you. It's me again. Baby, I'm not cutting it for all your Guys, we finished with this batch, and if we don't control ourselves, we might. Guys, see the water. And it's still drizzling. It's still drizzling. It's still drizzling. Guys, we are done with this set. This, we've had a lot with this set. There is more here. There is more to go. There is more to go. And there is more to go. Go. I'm so happy because guys we have a lot to eat so guys we are done with the chips I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you liked it I hope we kept you company 
by watching this video don't forget to comment don't forget to like don't forget to share to friends and family christmas is approaching you may need something to enjoy your christmas with and guys to get these chips for your family is a goal to make these chips and share with your loved ones during these holidays i love you i care for you and comment down below what you learned in today's video until next time peace hello guys it's late in the evening we are done frying the chips we are done frying the chips and i'm having it with some cocktail some co cocktail cocktail the fruit yeah so this is what i'm literally taking for supper